Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Dealing with how to protect your lungs. You want to make sure that you do not fight against your ability to resist this thing. The best way to resist and keep your lungs soft and pliable is to drink hot liquids. Hot liquids, not cold, because cold will work against you. With the virus, after the Chinese did the autopsies on some of the deceased bodies, they realized that the mucus was very, very thick, almost impenetrable. And that's what she describes at the beginning. And I just want you to understand what's going on inside the body. You need to keep the body warm in order for the mucus to be more liquefied. The more liquefied it is, the easier it is to receive treatments, inhalation treatments, the more effective the treatments will be. You do not want to slow down the process or block your ability to receive treatment if you contract this disease. Anyway, listen to some more of her points. She made some very good ones. Thank you. The Chinese now understand the behavior of the COVID-19 virus thanks to autopsies that they have carried out. This virus is characterized by obstructing respiratory pathways with thick mucus that solidifies and blocks the airways and lungs. So they have discovered that in order to be able to apply a medicine, you have to open and unblock these airways so that the treatment can be used to take effect. However, all of this takes a number of days. Their recommendations for what you can do to safeguard yourself are, number one, drink lots of hot liquids, coffee, soup, tea, warm water. In addition, take a sip of warm water every 20 minutes because this keeps your mouth moist and washes any viral, any of the virus that's entered your mouth into your stomach where the gastric juices will neutralize it before it can get to the lungs. Number two, gargle with an antiseptic in warm water like vinegar or salt or lemon every day if possible. Number three, the virus attaches itself to hair and clothes. Any detergent or soap kills it, but you must take a bath or a shower when you get in from the street. Avoid sitting down anywhere and go straight to the bathroom or shower. If you cannot wash your clothes daily, hang them in direct sunlight, which also neutralizes the virus. Number four, wash metallic surfaces very carefully because the virus can remain viable on these for up to nine days. Take note and be vigilant about touching handrails and door handles, etc. I guess within your own house as well, you can um, make sure that you are keeping those clean and wiping them down regularly. Number five, don't smoke. Number six, Wash your hands every 20 minutes using any soap that foams. Do this for 20 seconds and wash your hands thoroughly. Um, number seven, eat fruits and vegetables. Try to elevate your zinc levels, not just your vitamin C levels. Number eight, animals do not spread the virus to people. This is person-to-person -person transmission. Number nine, try to avoid getting the common flu, I guess because it's just already weakened your system, and try to avoid eating and drinking cold things. And number ten, if you feel any discomfort in your throat or a sore throat coming on, attack it immediately using the above method. The virus enters the system this way and remains for three or four days within the throat before it passes into the lungs. Good luck to everyone. Take care of yourself and pass this information along. 
let me add Pat's two cents. A few more pointers. Number one, if you run out of toilet paper, please do not sit there and bundle paper towels down into your toilet. You will cause major sewage problems throughout the city, let alone for your house. And you do not want that mess backing up into your house. You really don't. It won't only be your mess, it'll be your neighbor's mess too. So stop throwing paper towels, ball it up, throw it in a paper bag, a plastic bag, but do not throw it in the toilet when you get through using it. Through the front door or the back door, you get my drift. Throw it in the trash. Save your sewer issues. You do not need that on top of what we're dealing with. And women, don't you dare drop your you-know-what's down the toilet. That goes in the trash too. Another precautionary measure. Wipe your hands with alcohol. 91% is great. Wear latex gloves on that wet alcohol so it sits on there for a while. Go to wherever you got to do. Touch whatever you got to touch. And as soon as you get in your house, you take those gloves or before you come in your house and get back in your car, you take those gloves off and you put a new pair of gloves on. Wipe the gloves down and let it be wet with alcohol and swipe down your steering wheel and your door to your car. When you come to your house, wipe down the doorknobs with alcohol. Keep a bottle in the car and in your house. You can get those bottles for 99 cents at the 99 cent store. Now, I don't know what it's like now. I bought a bunch of them a month ago, so I don't know what it's like. But the bottom line is if you have access, if you have to go to a pharmacy, wherever you have to go, get the alcohol. You may have to go to a hospital pharmacy, but get alcohol and keep it on you all the time. And I think that's about it. God bless you. Be safe. I do believe this is the beginning of sorrows and we need to really buckle down and get ourselves ready because these are the last days, whether you guys want to face that or not. A little something for your funny bone, the Feast de Resistance. I want you to check out this wonderful ad. Now, can you imagine this? being the new world currency, toilet paper. Wow. Check out the price, y'all. That's the sale price. Hello. <laughs> Thought that would put a smile on your face.